gotten sometimes, but uh, you know, you're, each of you are running to fill out the remaining two years of Senator Johnny Isaacson's term. And Senator Isaacson carved a reputation not only as a conservative, but also a consensus builder. So what I'd like to ask each of you is, what have you done in the past to uphold that sort of legacy? Okay, Matt Lieberman, we'll start with you, 30 seconds. Well, Greg, you make a great point. And look, let me say something that's been reported on it. It, it may uh, make some Democratic activists, uh, you know, set their hair on fire. But you know, I'm proud that I contributed twice to Senator Isaacson's campaigns. And I would bet that Senator Isaacson over the last few years has been frustrated with how hard right and partisan the Republican Party's come. Look, my whole campaign, everything I've been saying is about the need to get away from this hyper-partisan culture and have the courage to come together. It takes courage because the parties don't want you to do it, but we need to do that's, it. That's our time. The Isaacs and the legacy, Ed Tarber, uh, your turn, 30 seconds. I think that's an excellent question. And, and, and I would just point to my service in the Georgia State Senate, uh, where I had a reputation of being, working in a bipartisan fashion on behalf of Georgians. Uh, I think all Georgians agree that uh, Congress is broken, Washington is broken, and that one of the reasons is the polarization and uh, the, the partisanship that uh, influences every decision that attempted. Thank you. Hey, Raphael Warnock, the question to you, sir. Years ago, you might remember that uh, the folks on the right and the left decided for the State of the Union we should sit together uh, across the aisle. I was actually Johnny Isaacson's guest uh, for State of the Union we are good. Uh, we're friendly, although we disagree almost all of the time. As a pastor, I know how to bring people together. And I've especially done it in the area of criminal justice reform, which is the one area in our politics where the right and the left agrees that the current status quo is unsustainable. And so I'm happy to work with anybody to get us closer uh, to what we call the beloved community. That's our time. Thank you. Doug Collins, the same question to you regarding Johnny Isaac and his legacy. Well, it's pretty easy for me because I'm the only one on this panel who's actually worked and actually got things accomplished in a bipartisan way. It's called the First Step Act. That's criminal justice reform that Reverend Warnock spoke of. It actually reformed our criminal justice system for the first time in over 30 years on the federal level. We worked across party lines, and the president actually thought enough about it. And he actually come on board and helped us get that done, and he's actually running for a re-election on it. We have to put people first, and we have to look for the best ideas, and those are the kind of things that I've always brought to the table. And Branch Lewinsky, the question to you regarding Isaacson's legacy. Well, as a consensus builder, I've actually sponsored 14 different uh, online debates that everybody's been invited to. We've always had a Republican. We've had a Democrat. We've had uh, independents, Green Party, Libertarians. Um, I also want to talk about candidate suppression as well, though, because what, what happens right now is you only have two Republicans on it, but there's actually five Republicans running. And they're, they're suppressed because they're left out of polls. They're not covered by our media not by the AGC, JC, or anything like that. And it hurts It hurts our republic when when not everybody's being covered. The mm -hmm. media should cover everybody, and Thank you. the party should Thank invite everybody. Uh, Kelly Leffler, the same question to you. Uh, uh, Isaacson's legacy, 30 seconds, please. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm so humbled to serve uh, John, in Johnny Isaacson's seat. Uh, I got to watch him for a decade and learn from him. Uh, and look, you know, I'll remind the congressman that another important piece of bipartisan legislation that we passed this year that I worked very hard on was the CARES Act, delivering relief, $2 trillion to this country, $47 billion to Georgia. And then I worked hard to deliver that around the state. I'm also proud of my work on the Veterans Affairs Committee, where we get a lot of great bipartisan work done because we have a, a suicide challenge in dealing with uh, 20 suicide uh, per day in the veteran community. So thank you.